Hi everyone, my name is Julien Tabe. I'm from France. You can find me on Instagram. I'm creating surrealistic images about animals. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this image using Adobe Stock. So let's get started. I'm now on Adobe Stock and I will try to find my main subject, which is a bird. They have a lot of stocks about it. So the best thing to do is to find something you like and simply look for similar images. I'm looking for a bird with a blurry background, just like this one actually. This one looks perfect, I think I would just go for it and license it. I can now open Photoshop and add my image. I will resize it a bit and put it in the center. Let's duplicate it. One layer will be for the bird and the other one for the background. Now I will cut out the bird and for this I will just click on select, subject and here we go. It's pretty easy to use and I can now adjust some details by using the brush tool on the mask. I duplicate the background once again. The idea is to cover the bird to really separate the two elements and you will understand why a bit later. So I take my brush tool and just draw on the mask. I will now use the clone stamp tool to rectify all the elements of my visual that we need it. It's time to define the colors of my image. For this, I use curves, levels, hue and saturation. The objective is here to attenuate the yellow and green and to bring out the red and the blue. Back to my bird, I put it in a group, use a mask on it, and I will start to draw and erase some parts. I will now take care of the inside, create a solid color, I need something blue, put a mask on it and again just draw. It always takes me a while to find the perfect shape to be honest. Let's put the opacity just a bit lower. And we're going to do exactly the same manipulation to bring some volume to the bird. Back to Adobe Stock, looking for other elements I can add to my visual, like a lighthouse for example. And let's take this one. We open it, resize it, select it, and adjust everything. There are many different ways to select an object. Just find the one that is right for you. I want to put this little lighthouse here and by changing its hue and saturation, replace the red with black. Let's imagine it's a small island. I will draw the underwater part and fill it with a texture found on Adobe Stock. I will then repeat the same process. Find my image, bring it into Photoshop, cut it out, and decide where I should put it in my composition. And now the final part and probably the longest. Uh, I will take care of the lights and shadows. I worked mainly with the exposure effect. 
it's this step that will bring all the realism to the image. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you learned some stuff and had fun, and see you soon!